the humility the longing the persistence with patience if you if you build these attributes into your spiritual sadhana the ego will start to dissolve if i use the sufi parallel in a sufi way if i say same thing i'm saying huh? not a different thing same thing in a sufi parallel i'm saying if you cultivate a persona within you to fall deeply in love not with a human being you can of course love a human being also but deeply in love with the search itself with the seeking itself if you fall in love with your meditative practice the ego will start to dissolve love is the only thing that will allow you to dissolve the ego and humility longing persistence and patience are all sub sub uh, gunas sub attributes of love if you see when you're in love there is a deep humility there is no competition lust will bring the competition possession will bring the competition attachment will bring the competition and not pure love love in its purest form will never bring any competition it will only bring humility you want to bow down to the beloved if the beloved is a person or an existence whatever teacher master i don't know you will want to bow down your head will bow down to the beloved humility will start to develop you want to spend as much time as you can in the in the thing that you love in the person that you love in the process that you love there will be no no knowledge of time and space in hindi if i say you will not have the both of time and space both is a beautiful word both is an awareness you will not have awareness of time and space if you are floating in the space of love longing will start to develop persistence is another quality of love when you are deep in love there is nothing but persistence and there is nothing but patience because there is a deep trust love also brings deep trust because of that deep, deep trust there is an anant endless patience that you start to cultivate all of this if you see will start to dissolve ego none of these attributes have anything to do with ego <laughs> none of these attributes in their purest form will ever fuel the ego these are ego ego destroying attributes so to say make a chart really i'm telling you make a chart write big on the chart write big all these things that you want to cultivate in the field in the soil of your heart so that this remembrance never leaves you that's the game if this remembrance never leaves you then it will start to cultivate in the soil of your heart remembrance so we that's what we need to cultivate hmm? this that's the only reason we all come together in the satsang i i am saying again i said last time also satsang is not about content satsang is not about content whatever you are asking me if you type it on google it might give you much better results <laughs> variety of different options and answers i am not expert on jesus on christianity on spirituality on meditation on satsang nothing but satsang is about the space that we create even online satsang is about the space where we are i'm knocking on the door of your own hearts so that this remembrance comes back we have the tendency to lose this remembrance of our purpose here as a lost sheep the only purpose here which we have in this life as a lost sheep we are all lost sheep is to call out and meet with the shepherd again reunited with the shepherd again that's the only reason we're all here satsang creates a space friends in this space this remembrance comes back at least for a few moments in this space this longing comes back at least for a few moments and then if you're willing you can start to pour more energy on this remembrance on this on this longing start to cultivate more deeper 
this is what a satsang is all about it's never about content yeah so if if there's anybody who is only interested in content you, you know this is not the best place yeah but this is a great place if you really want to be knocked down <laughs> you follow knocked down here so that this opens you follow <laughs>